Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, your boy, Yumicon. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, I'm going to be doing my predictions for match day 18 of the Premier League season. So let's jump straight into the video. Okay, guys, kicking us off tonight for this match day, it is Crystal Palace against Brighton. I'm going to go for a Brighton win. I think a comfortable 2-1 win for Brighton away from home should seal it for them. Okay, so moving on to tomorrow's game, we have Aston Villa against Sheffield United. I'm going to go for an Aston Villa win. I think Aston Villa at the moment are playing some really good football and I just don't see Sheffield really stopping them. Even being 100% honest with you guys, I think a 2-0 Sheffield United win. So then moving on to Christmas Eve Eve and we've got some special games guys. First of all, we have West Ham United against Manchester United and I'm going to go for a West Ham win. I think West Ham will bounce back from being absolutely annihilated by Liverpool in the cup this week. So I think a 2-1 West Ham win at home should seal it for them. So the moving on to the next game, which should have been Manchester City and Brentford, but of course, seeing as Manchester City have a way at the Club World Cup, we cannot play this game. So this game has been postponed and pushed forward to a later date. So the moving on to the next game, it is Tottenham against Everton. This should be a good game, guys. This is one to watch out for. This is probably one of the best games of this match day, I would say so. I'm going to go for a draw here because both these teams have been playing quite well this season. Spurs have kind of dropped a little bit in form as of recent, but they're still a decent side. So I'm going to go for like a 2-2 draw here. This should be a really entertaining game. So I'm moving on to Forest against Bournemouth. I do see a Forest win here, but only by one goal. So I'm going for like a 1-0 Forest win. I do think that with a new manager coming into the team, it will boost the spirits of the players. And I think they'll go out and get that win. So I'm moving on to Luton against Newcastle. I'm going to go for a Newcastle win. I think quite comfortably Newcastle should beat Luton. So I'm moving on to the second to last Christmas Eve Eve game. It is Fulham and Burnley. And I'm going to go for a Burnley win. I think a cheeky 2-1 Burnley win away from home should seal it for them. So I'm moving on guys to the final game of Christmas Eve Eve. And this is Liverpool against Arsenal. I'm going to go for a draw here. This should be a really good game. But I think like a 1-1 draw. Shall be the final result. And of course, a draw here will absolutely benefit City the best here. Because we don't want either of these teams to get all three points. So I'm going to go for a draw. And then finally, guys, on Christmas Eve, we have Wolves against Chelsea. I'm going to go for a Chelsea win. I think a 2-1 Chelsea win away from home will be good enough for them. So guys, here's the quick recap. Okay, so we have a Brighton win, an Aston Villa win, a West Ham win, a draw between Spurs and Everton, a Forest win, a Newcastle win, a Burnley win, a draw between Liverpool and Arsenal, and finally, guys, a Chelsea win. So, yeah, guys, that is match day 18. And, yeah, right, so where have I been? I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. I've not been making videos for about two to three weeks now, I think. And that's basically because I've been having computer issues quite a lot recently, but that's all fixed now, and I've been having internet issues. I've been having outages with my internet and stuff, but that seems to be all be fixed now. So I should be back making videos a lot more frequently and I should be back to posting all the videos I used to post before I had computer and internet issues. Now, if I don't make another video before Christmas, I just want all you guys to have a wonderful holiday season. Please be careful when you're out and about with friends and family stuff. Please be responsible and all that good stuff. And I will catch you all after Christmas and into New Year. And we shall be taking 2024 on straight first head first taking this year on and we're going to do some great things i would hope so anyway so yeah guys that's it for me today i hope you have enjoyed this video and of course i will catch you all on the next one uh, goodbye